When Trendnet first announced their multi-gigabit USB-C to Ethernet adapter, it was great to finally see a low-cost alternative to the pricey Thunderbolt adapters. They sell two variants, one that maxes out at 2.5 gigabits, and the other one, which I'm reviewing, that supports 5 gigabits. While this is not 10 gigabits, it's still a significant upgrade, at least for me, from my 1 gigabit connection. The form factor of the adapter is slightly larger than a regular gigabit adapter, but still significantly smaller than the Thunderbolt adapters. It's something you can easily carry around or travel with. Once you plug in the adapter, two LED lights illuminate to indicate USB 3.1 and power. I'll be testing this adapter with a MacBook Pro and the other end of the cable which will be connected to an iMac Pro, which has a built-in 10 gigabit Ethernet port. When I first connected the adapter, I was only receiving 1.2 gigabits per second. In order to support higher speeds, drivers are needed, which is unfortunate, and the official support is still at OS 10.13, which was released back in 2017. I found that to be disappointing given that the adapter was just released a few months ago. Support does not have an ETA on when support for the latest macOS version will be provided either. However, the drivers can still be installed if you allow the extensions during the installation process. But you also receive a warning that the adapter may not function on future versions of macOS. I hope Trendnet releases an update to support the latest version. I am currently installing this on macOS Catalina, which is the latest macOS version as of this video. Another issue that I found is if the adapter is connected to the computer during boot up, the USB 3.1 light does not illuminate and the adapter does not even appear to be detected by the computer. Unplugging the adapter and plugging it back in resolves this, and I'm guessing this is due to the outdated drivers. However, once the adapter is connected, connectivity and performance is pretty stable. I ran multiple file transfer tests for several hours at a time, and the speeds did not slow down, and I also didn't get a drop in connection. However, I found the upload bitrate to max out around 3.6 gigabits per second, which is slower than the advertised speed of 5 gigabits per second, and the max download speed was even slower at just 1.4 gigabits per second. Now, this review is intended to show the performance and my experience with a Mac running the latest OS. Perhaps performance is better on a Mac with an older operating system or even a Windows computer. As of right now, at least for Mac users, I'd recommend the cheaper 2.5 gigabit model instead of the 5 gigabit version that I have. For those who need speeds faster than a gigabit but not necessarily the full 10 or 5 gigabits, this is a perfect alternative. Perhaps Trendnet will resolve the speeds with a driver update, but I think the 2.5 gigabit adapter is competitively priced and probably the better option as of right now. Please leave a comment if you have any questions, and if you like this video, please like and subscribe for future videos.